Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel doing Paid Watch Reviews. Today we're doing Paid Watch Review JU78. JU78, this is for Peter. And before we start this, let's do a quick mandatory wrist, wrist, wrist watch check. I'm wearing a Rolex Explorer 2. This is the Polar, Polar, Polar. And I want to say I'm actually fondling a Patek. Paddock 5127. I love Paddock Philippe. Okay, guys, let's jump straight into this paid review. And uh, let's have a look at this. This is really quite a, a cool collection. And uh, this guy here has got some amazing pieces. Hello, my name is Pete. Don't use my real name. I've been following your channel for a while and appreciate your honest reviews. I've sent you 65 US smackaroonies. Let's get started. Background. I'm 41 year old male living in Thailand. Happy life in both work and personal. Well done. Well done. I bet you in Thailand, I got to tell you, I, I wish I could... Uh, I love Thailand. I do love Thailand. Uh, he goes on to say, I tend to dress business casual to work. I've started liking watches, started liking watches since I was 25 and have grown into an enthusiastic collector when I turned 30. My watch collection has grown along with the no my knowledge of watches. As you can see, my earlier pieces were dogs. Arr, 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 dogs. IWC, Frank Muller, but have grown to gain more knowledge as time passes. Uh, a small wrist, 16.5, as so most of the watches are maximum 39 to 40 mils. I try to carry, uh, I, I try to vary my collection as much as possible based on brands, functionality, precious metals. Uh, for your reference, um, he goes, I tend to buy watches with a date function. Let's have a look at the collection. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Have a look. We've got a Patek Philippe. Patek Philippe. A grand classic. We've got a 5726. Wowzers. That's the, um, that's the annual calendar Nautilus. And he bought that it's on a, it's a steel on a leather strap. He bought that in 2014. Good buying. That's pre-boom. 2019, he got a Patek Philippe 5230. World time in white gold. That is an absolute gorgeous piece. Um, i, I got to be honest with you. Uh, I was a bit worried when I was reading this. I was thinking this is just a rich Thai guy who just goes and buys the hottest things. To buy the world time, that proves you've got real, real class. And I must say the white gold one, it's fucking sexy. That is a very, very sexy watch. The next piece, he's got an Audemars Piguet. Royal Oak 15202 steel. Fuck. Fuck. That is a <clears throat> absolute killer. Killer of a watch. See, that watch there... You've got to be an enthusiast. Uh, you've got to be an enthusiast. It's not for somebody who wants to look at me, look at me. Most people don't understand what that is there. That's an enthusiast watch there. Um, I've got to tell you, man, you, you that's a fucking uh, sensational. And you've got it in the bluey gray dial, which is the most desired most desired there uh sorry sorry let's just back the truck up the 5726 is steel okay the 5230 white gold on a strap that's gorgeous the ap15202 that's the automars pga royal oak oh that is sexy sexy 39 mil absolutely perfect You've got an automized P Gay dual time. That's the reference 26120 in rose gold. Yes, sir. I approve. That is fucking gorgeous. Uh, then you've got a Lange One Moon Phase. Yes, sir. -y. This is absolutely gorgeous. That's with the uh, the black dial in white gold. Oh my god, that is. That is one 
sexy, 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 sexy watch. Um, then you've got a Rolex uh, 18K, uh, Rolex GMT Master 2, 116718 LN, 50th anniversary, the green. I love a green dial GMT. Uh, you've changed the bracelet from gold to the rubber. That could give it a real good casual look. I think, i got to be honest with you, the um, um, on a bracelet, it's a bit, a little bit imposing. It's kind of, it's a bit show off. So I, I completely understand why you would put that. That shows good taste. Put it onto a rubber strap. You still got the bracelet, man. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah, I, I reckon that is fucking cool. That's, that's a good idea. Because it is a bit, it's a little bit loud. So, on the rubber, it really tones it down. It does, it's not, it's not so obnoxious. Um, now, I gotta tell you, that's, that's a fucking beautiful collection. Interestingly enough, you've got a Chopard Millie Migler, my beta watch, 2005. Yeah, we all make mistakes. <laughs> we all make mistakes. Show part. Fuck, that's a that's a soft, 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 soft brand there. They are soft. You had an IWC Portuguesa. You sold that. Yeah, the Portuguese is actually. If you're gonna have an IWC, I think it's it's okay. It's okay, but yeah, get rid of it. Get rid of it. You had a Frank Muller Casablanca. You sold that. You bought that in 2012. Yep, yep. Frank Muller's. They were so hot. Fuck, they've gone soft. Uh, and you've got a G-Shock, Casio G-Shock as your beta, 2015. Um, what is my opinion of your of your collection? I got to tell you, I fucking love it, man. That's fucking. That's a. That's a. You've got so many super, 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 super grails. I mean, look. Obviously, you're a well-off, successful guy. Okay. Okay. That's a bit of a given. Okay. But I do like the fact you have showed a bit of class like you got some interesting watches there that normal people wouldn't if you were a complete show-off instead of having the world time you'd have a 5711 which i gotta be honest with you i think your world time shits all over a 5711 i love it in the white gold very cool just subtle uh the 15202 you're gonna be a fucking purist to have that that's a very difficult watch to live with doesn't have seconds, so it's just minute and hour and a date. And it doesn't have a screw in crown. That's a fucking hard watch to live with, believe you me. But it's a purist choice. You've got to really fucking know your AP to to go with that. You, you, you've got the Nautilus, yeah, okay, okay. I, I admit, you've got the you've got the, the annual calendar Nautilus, which is fucking to die for. Fucking to die for. Um, the Jewel Time, I actually love, I love, I think your Jewel Time, uh, in rose gold, I think that's really cool, that's a, that's, a, that's also, you know, that's, that's a very, very, I prefer you to have that than a fucking offshore, uh, you know, I, I think that's, that's just more subtle, and I, I like the way you've toned down the loud, obnoxious GMT uh, in gold by putting it onto rubber. That's that's a that's a classy idea. We don't need to rub it in anyone's face. Just be subtle. It's always a good idea. Uh, so so what do I, what's my opinion of your collection? Your collection's fucking amazing, fucking amazing. Um, I I think it's breathtaking. The collection is absolutely amazing. And it's not just a rich Thai guy who's just gone out and said, I want the greatest stuff in the world. You've, you've kind of planned it. You've thought it out. You've got the world time. I've got to give you points. The world time really, really impresses me. That's something you've got to be a purist for. And also the dual time. I, I love the AP dual time. So um, my opinion is, what's my opinion? I think your collection's fucking amazing. It's super grail status. I mean, it's fucking Amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces. Well, we really can't include the Casio. That's just a piece of shit. Um, oh, one, yeah, yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pieces, seven. Um, 
I, I think that's a cool collection. That's very, it's fucking amazing. It's amazing. That's, that's, some people go through life and never have that, that sort of collection there. Uh, what should, what watch should I add to the collection? I tend to buy one watch a year. Okay, let's have a look. The Omega Diver 300 meter rubber strap. The Patek Philippe 5205R annual calendar. Rose gold with black dial. Or an FP Jean Octo Calendrier Platinum Grey Dial. Look, I've got to be honest with you. My honest opinion, honest, honest, honest to God opinion, stick, stick to Patek. Stick to Patek. I would go, the 5205R is fucking gorgeous. Fucking, fucking gorgeous. I'm not a big fan of the rose gold with the black dial. I actually prefer the white gold with the blue dial. That's Or the platinum with the blue dial. That's, that's my... But, but I mean, fuck me dead. If I had a rose gold with a black dial, I'd cut my arm off to have one of those. Um, I think that's one of the most beautiful annual calendars ever made. I mean, I got a 5035, which is, you know, it's a poor man's... Poor, poor man's annual calendar in this league here, but I, I'm very happy. I love I love my paddock because I got that for my 40th birthday. It's got a story. That's what it is. It's 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 the passion and the romance. Um, I, I'd have to say uh, five two oh five. Definitely, definitely, definitely get that. That's a fucking hot watch. Uh, the other hot watch is that new paddock. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'd go fifty two oh five, but. You know the new 5212, that's the weekly calendar that's just released at Basel World. That's fucking gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Steel on a leather strap. Fucking any steel Patek has got huge potential. Unless it's a Neptune. Unless the don't 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 buy the Nep the Neptune was the dog from the 90s. Um okay, so I I reckon I'd go Patek. Okay. Any additional recommendations? Okay, let me let me let me just say this to you nicely. Now, it's obvious you might have a relationship with Hourglass or these Pendulum or these big fucking dealers. They're cunts. They are fucking cunts. Okay, so don't believe the shit they tell you because these sons of bitches, they'll try and load you up on bullshit brands, Parmigiani. They'll try and get you into Moser. Fucking stay away from. Fucking shit. Stay away from fucking garbage. My advice to you, Rolex Patek. Rolex Patek. Don't, don't. Now, FP Jean, yes, I know the chronometer de blue is, 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 is very, very cool. But if I were you, just stay Patek. Patek. Uh, even Lange. Lange is a bunch of cunts. They're real cunts. So, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you don't ever buy a Lange again because the cunts didn't give me a fucking catalogue. Just tell them you're not going to buy it because you didn't give Archie a catalogue. Uh, I would seriously say to you, I would seriously say to you, um, in my opinion, in my opinion, I would be seriously Rolex and Paddock. Uh, stay away. No JLC, no VC. They're fucking dogs. Stay away from that fucking AP 1159. They might invite you out for dinner and try and smooze you. Get fucked! The, 11, the code 1159 is fucking turd. It's a turd! Um, my advice to you. What would I do? i got to be honest with you. Your collection's amazing. If I were you, don't take this the wrong way. I would probably add a bit of Rolex Steel Sports Backbone. Okay? What I mean by that is sometimes it's nice just to have, particularly in Thailand where the weather is fucking hot, it's nice to have some steel. Put some steel on. If I were you, I would seriously... I know you got the GMT. It's a little bit over the top in gold. I would probably get a... Say if we could get some sort of steel GMT function, either an Explorer 2 or a GMT. If we could get some sort of diver, Rolex diver, a submariner, uh, and I would probably, I gotta say it, I know this is gonna really hurt. Can you get a fucking panda? Can you call a favor in and get a fucking panda? That's what I would do. Um, uh, add some Rolex backbone. Add some Rolex steel sports backbone just to give it some some usability when you don't want to take. A fucking super grail somewhere. That's I'd, I'd add a bit, bit of Rolex steel. That's just a bit of cement 
to bond this collection together. You've got an amazing collection. Don't sell the pieces. Just keep. I know they're going up and they're worth a fortune. Just keep them and enjoy them. That's what you want to do in life. Amazing collection. Now, there was another Thai guy I really got stuck into because he he was very rich and he only bought the cool pieces. See, your collection, I'll tell you what the fucking difference is. Your collection here, yeah, you have got some show-off pieces. I, I understand. But you've got a 5726. That's the fucking annual calendar Nautilus. That's the coolest Nautilus. You have got, that's cooler than the perpetual calendar. That's just rich fuckers, super rich fuckers. You got a world time in white gold, the 5230, fucking beautiful. And you got a 15202. You fucking ticked my box by, and also the jewel time, jewel time, and the Lange One, fuck, the Lange One, man, man. You've got an amazing collection. Keep it up there. Um, it, it's it's amazing. That that is fucking beautiful. Just add slowly. Bit of Rolex backbone never hurt anyone. Okay, me, I got four paddocks. And I got the Explorer 2, and I got a JLC Reverso, but I'm adding, I'm going to be adding a, a, a Milgauss GV. I'm adding a GV Milgauss soon, because I want a black dial steel Rolex, and I want a white dial in, 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 the, in the Polar. So that way there, you do need some, some, some steel Rolex, just to give you some strength uh, in the collection. So there you go, that's my advice. Lovely, lovely, lovely collection. Just enjoy it, love it. They're fucking beautiful. Well done. Well done indeed there. I'm Paul Pluto. This has been a paid review. This was for Peter. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe. Tell your fuckhead friends. And don't forget to put a few really nasty comments down below. Really nasty comments. And until next time, guys, think about getting a paid review done. I need the money. I need the money. I need the money. Show me the money and I'll do a paid review. Talk about your collection. Tell you what needs improving. Tell you what sucks. I'll be honest to you. Until next time. Ciao, fuckers. Oh. Hey, Archie Luxury fans. If you're into luxury, then you got to be into 66 Buick Rivieras. Check out my son and I, Alex as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick. Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life.